There are three simple words you can say to just about any woman to make her melt. Hi there, men's dating coach Harry Wilmington here, founder of introvertdatingsuccess.com. And on today's show, you're going to learn a simple three-word phrase that you can use to make just about any woman feel the tingles for you and increase her liking you as well. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified of when we put up new daily videos. Also, be sure to go to the website to download my free ebook, Texting Like a Boss, as well as hitting the tip jar tab to show your support simply by going to the website or scrolling down below. Let's get into it. So first off, let me go ahead and tell you what this phrase is, because this is a phrase that I accidentally stumbled upon in my dating years, and I found that every single time I've said this phrase to a woman I've either dated for a while or am in a relationship with, it just makes them melt, it gives them tingles, it makes them feel more attracted to me, it has them all touchy-feely, and it makes them want to like jump me in the bedroom like right away. And it's a phrase you would think shouldn't even be a major deal, because as a guy, you're just like, this is what I mean, but... To them, it means the entire world. And I'm going to go into the five reasons why this phrase is so powerful. But without further ado, here is the phrase you can use, the simple three-word phrase that will get women wild about you. I got this. Let me say that again. The simple phrase is, I got this. Now, what do I mean by that? It's out of context. You're like, what does that mean? So let's say you've been dating a girl and you are wanting to like take her on an adventure for the weekend, okay? So you go to her and you say, hey, babe, I got a great idea for this weekend. I want to take us out of town uh, for like a vacation, and I want to show you a good time. The woman's going to be ecstatic about that, right? So she's saying, oh my God, that's so great, whatever. Hey, what can I do to help with the trip? Can I, can I buy some groceries? Can I, do, can I do, you know, take our car, my car, X, Y, and Z? What can I do? When you come back to her, with this three-word phrase, babe, don't worry about it, I got this. The amount of attraction that she is going to feel for you is going to be oh so surprising. And for the longest time, I didn't really get it. I'm like, what's the big deal about me saying that, you know, I'm I'm able to handle this thing, I don't need your help about this, or I've got the situation under control. Like, why is that such a big deal? But I have found the reaction I've gotten to that phrase from women time and time again has led me to conclude that, oh my gosh, this is actually a really big deal for a lot of women. And so I had to think about it. Why is the phrase, I got this, such a huge deal? So here's what I've been able to come up with. These are the five reasons that I feel that this phrase is a key phrase that a woman that you are dating needs to hear in order to feel more attraction for you. So here's the first reason, is that women like men who can make decisions. And a lot of problems that guys have with dating stem from the fact that either A, they're not able to make a lot of decisions, or B, they want to be able to get her consensus about a decision he's trying to make in order to make sure that she likes the decision and that she uh, he is kept in her good graces. And I used to do the same thing. Like For the longest time, when I would try to plan dates with girls, I'd be like, hey, I want to take you out. And then they'd be like, oh, great, what are we going to do? And my first response back would be either, well, what do you want to do? Or, well, I don't know. Let's sit down and plan out what we want to do. And that is actually very, very unappealing because women like take charge men. Women like guys that are able to make decisions many times without them. We think that we got to negotiate things or bring them into the decision. But again, my dating experience has taught me that most women actually don't care if they're not part of that decision. They'd rather just let hand that off to you, let you handle that. And women will typically just go along with whatever. So when you as a guy say to her, hey, you've already got this. You've already planned out the trip, for example. You've already planned out where you're going to go, what you're going to eat, how you're going to get there. That is just such, and it's such a take charge thing, and it's such a powerful thing that women are going to gravitate towards that, as opposed to a guy that's either not able to make a decision or is asking her all the time. Like women really do like men that are more effective at trusting in their ability to make a decision. And that's another thing too, is that when you're able to make a decision, then it shows that you know what you're doing and that she shouldn't have to worry about this. And I'll get into that a little bit more later. The second reason this phrase is so effective is because women like guys that are showing that they want to take care of them. She, By now, if you've been dating her for a while or if you're a boyfriend and girlfriend, then when you're able to plan things out or handle situations and say, I got this, then what that means is that you are showing that you are able to take care of her. Because at this point, 
if you're making certain decisions, we're going to assume that she's been with you long enough to where she shouldn't have to feel like she has to be involved in all the decisions you're making. But she also is going to be aware that if you're making certain decisions, it's in part because you care about her. Like you wouldn't plan out stuff to do or plan out how to handle a situation without taking her into consideration, okay? So this is a great way to show a woman that you do in fact care for her and that you actually do like take the time to think out how things are going to affect her before you make said decisions and say to her, I got this. The third reason this phrase is so effective is because it helps to establish trust. This is a great way to solidify that a woman trusts you. You see, a woman wants her man to be the leader and wants to be able to follow him and submit to him and trust that he's going to be able to like take them out to do things and show her a good time and also have her safety in mind, et cetera, et cetera. And so the best way to establish this for a woman is to let you at times make decisions without her input. And so what happens when you bring her into all these decisions that you're trying to make is that it does not allow her now to establish any kind of feeling of trust with you because, and actually on some level, if you're trying to ask her for her opinion, it's almost like you're say, you're saying to her, I don't really trust my ability to make decisions. I don't trust my ability to do something that's going to possibly bring harm to you or not. So I need to make sure that you're in this. And that's not how we're thinking about it. We're just thinking we want to be nice. And we've been taught that, you know, women need to be part of the decision. So they feel like they're being heard. But the reality is that that doesn't allow you to then establish trust. And especially women that have trust issues, you'll notice early on that women will test you in part to see if they can trust you. So they might do things like when you come back to them and say, well, what do you want to do for a date? They might be like, oh, you're not really man enough for, oh, why do, why do you need, my, need me to make a decision, blah, blah, blah. The reality is all women want to be able to trust their guy. And that means that they have to put you through the pains of being able to actually do that and then be able to let go. And the hardest thing for women is sometimes to be able to let go and let let the man make the decision and trust in the first place. So, but even with that, women also like being put in their place. I know as weird as that sounds, like in a nice way, but it's like women like to be told sometimes, hey, like shut up, be quiet, don't worry about it, it's under control, I got this. And But that helps them to be able to understand that if you've got situations handled, they can kind of like lean back a little bit, okay? Which actually leads into reason number four that this phrase is so effective is because women want to take a break from having to do everything. There are so many women that get into relationships and then they complain in part because they feel like they're the ones that always have to make decisions about what the kids are doing, about what date night's gonna be, about what they're eating for dinner, about how their house is gonna look. And then you gotta figure women go to jobs all day now. They, they work away from the home or something with the pandemic, they're working at home, but they're on the computer all day and they're in meetings and they're, and they're having to do these planning sessions and all this other stuff where their brain's on full thinking function all day. Now, I will say that women are actually very good at this, but the problem is nature-wise, they don't really like to make decisions. They've, they've learned over time to have to make these decisions because their job and their money and welfare depend on it. But in terms of having to do it all the time, if women had the option, they'd more likely be wanting to like just confer to the man. Like whatever the man says, we're going to do that thing. Whatever he, whoever he thinks we should live, however many children think we should have, that's fine. I'll just make, let him make those decisions. Women actually really don't like making decisions all that much. And you can tell this because again, most women, if you ask, if you, if you ask a group of women, hey, where should we go for dinner tonight? Most of the time they'll sit there like waiting for somebody else to answer. It's a, it's a, again, and I've done this. It's a weird phenomenon, but yes, if you get in a group of guys and say, Hey guys, what should we do for, to, for fun tonight or whatever? Most guys will, will throw in some, some ideas or whatever. Most women will be hesitant to suggest something. And then if they finally do, they still want to make sure that it's cool with the rest of the group. Okay. So again, in terms of having to make decisions, they can do it, but it's not their preferred setting. Which is why when they come to us after a hard day of work and want to go on a date, they expect us to have an idea because they've been doing everything else all day. And men, we are in the habit of already problem solving and thinking and try and analyzing stuff and making decisions. So yeah, it's going to be great for them to be able to take, turn their brain off and take a break while we got this and we're making decisions. That's number four. And then the fifth reason that the I got this phrase is so powerful is because ultimately it shows that you were doing your part to be an equal partner in this relationship. It's not about her having to make all these decisions. It's not about her having to come to you and you want to consult with her now. 
it's it's a thing that says, hey, you know what? He's actually doing his part and he's showing that he's taking initiative. He's showing leadership. He, I can trust him. And so, yeah, if he makes a decision every so often, he's planning nice things. He's making breakfast for me at times when I can't do it for myself because I'm too busy. Or he's like able to just say, you know what, babe? I'm taking the care of kids tonight. Go and take a nap or go hang with the girls. I got this. Like that shows that you are willing to be an equal partner. And that's something that's very, very important because a lot of women don't feel that. A lot of women feel like there's a there's an off balance between how much she's doing and how much he, the, the guy's doing. And so for you to be able to come in and say, hey, Hey, there's going to be times where I'm going to plan some stuff out and you ain't got to worry about a darn thing. Women are going to really appreciate that in a relationship. Okay. So learn to be that guy, learn to be comfortable with the idea that it's okay for you to make decisions at times without having to uh, defer to her opinion. Because realistically, sometimes when you are ready to plan some stuff or you want to do something for your woman, she don't want to be involved in the decision. She just wants to know that she can trust you because you got this. Now that you've heard from me, I'd like to hear from you. Have you ever used the phrase, I got this, to your girl before? If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to leave a comment down below or write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. Are you ready to attract women with killer icebreakers on dating apps? Go to introvertdatingsuccess.com right now to watch my free video training, how to get attractive, feminine, emotionally stable women dying to respond to your first messages on dating apps without using sleazy pickup lines, which will give you key secrets to sparking attraction and conversation with women online the smart way. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on this episode and catch new episodes seven days a week right here on YouTube or wherever podcasts can be found. In the meantime, be sure to check out other episodes so that you too can learn how to date as your introverted self while still getting your precious alone time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.